But I have a message that's very, very important for all uh, newcomers to Canada, international students. I need you to know this. I need you to hear this. A few weeks ago, I was asked to speak at a summit for International Youth Canada. And I was asked if I would mention three common frauds and scams. And I had a bit of a hard time with that because there's four that I wanted to cover. But the fourth one is often unreported for a variety of different reasons. I'll get into that. But I have a message that's very, very important for all uh, newcomers to Canada, international students. I need you to know this. I need you to hear this. A lot of crimes are not reported because they think it's going to affect their immigration status in Canada. I'm here to tell you that it will not affect your immigration status in Canada. You need to report crimes. You need to report everything that I'm going to go over with because it's important for police to know so they can start setting up uh, projects and details and such to properly address these issues. All right, let me get into this. I'm going to be looking down on my computer every now and then. The first one is tuition and scholarship scams. Somebody will pose as an education consultant or representative. They offer fake scholarships or discounts on tuition fees. They ask for money up front or personal information. And that's when they disappear. So now you're out the money, but also you gave away your, your personal information. There's a, a financial penalty, of course. You lost that money. But what can be worse sometimes is now they took your personal information and this is when identity fraud happens. This is when identity scams can take place. I was the victim of identity fraud as a police officer, and I had to report it to the police service that I worked for at the time. I was the victim and the matter was investigated. So listen, if it can happen to me, I'm not anything special, but if it can happen to a police officer, it can happen to anybody. So don't be embarrassed. These things take place. The second is immigration and visa scams. Someone will pretend to be an immigration consultant or official. They take money to expedite or speed up the immigration process to provide special immigration services for a fee. They threaten deportation or somehow to mess up with your status in Canada if fees aren't paid. And they increase the fees after you start this. The third, rental scams. And this is, I think, really common these days because, listen, the price of housing and renting and everything, it's just ridiculous. I've, I've heard of... Uh, advertisements out there. People are charging $500 for one corner of a bedroom. I'm not talking for a room. $500 for one corner of a bedroom. And there's four different corners where people are living. So they're, it's just ridiculous out there. Rental scams. So fake listings on websites or social media. They offer rooms, require payment up front. You pay them and they disappear. Again, not uncommon. They could have a website set up. They could have an email address. They send you pics. It, it, everything looks legit. You send them money as a down payment, they disappear. And you might not even know it until you go to move into the place and there's no, there's no place there or the house exists, but they have no clue what you're talking about. Anyways, you have to check everything. If you receive a call from any of these organizations, be sure to get their information first because it can be very, very tricky and people are out a lot of money, thousands of dollars. So I mentioned that there was a fourth and the fourth one uh, actually is kind of intertwined with a lot of these. And that is, and this is something, again, I didn't realize that it was such a common issue until I was putting together a report, a report as an Ontario Human Rights Commissioner. I was putting together a report and I requested some information from some of my friends and the people that I've grown cr uh, close with who are international students as well and newcomers to the country. And this is sexual exploitation. Every example I just gave you, tuition and scholarship scams, uh, immigration and visa scams and rental scams, at some point, the individual may take advantage of the person because they're vulnerable. And the reason why it's unreported is because people are ashamed. And listen, understandable enough, it's... They're ashamed. They don't want to report it. They're going to be ashamed that their family finds out, that their friends find out. They have photos that they might not want to get out. And listen, they're they're vulnerable. They were taken advantage of. It's a shame these things happen. And that's just something that, uh, that uh, I wanted to bring up. Now, how do you stop all these? I recently filmed a podcast with International Youth Canada, and we're going to be going through all kinds of different ways that you can prevent this. But one of the key ways to prevent this is by understanding that these t things take place before the crime happens. And that's part of what I'm doing with this video now. That's part of what we did with the at the International Youth Summit. And it's just becoming aware of some of the frauds and scams out there and uh, 
crime prevention, awareness, sharing this information with your friends. If the government calls you or somebody calls you saying they're from the government or from the, they're from the immigration office or from the police service, listen, get their number, call them back. Don't give any information on the phone. Don't give money. The government will not ask you to send them money right now. They're not going to ask you to go buy gift cards. They just, it won't happen. Be sure to gather the information and contact police. If you're not sure who to contact, Canada 311, it's a number. You can ask questions. I'll give you the information. Uh, but remember, reporting these things will not affect your immigration status in Canada. It will not be used against you. Thank you for watching. Be safe out there. Look after one another. And perhaps we will see you again.